Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In today's session, we will learn how we can actually add a simple product using the Shopify REST API. Okay, so product for the default variants. Okay, so in the last session, we have learned how we can actually apply the OAuth flow and uh, create the app and configure that app, get the app credentials and how we can actually get the access to. If you are a new here, then just go back and watch that sessions from the Shopify playlist and come back here. Okay. So for today's session, we first need to create a constant file for Shopify relative paths. So we say Shopify constants dot js inside that we first need to create API version. So inside that we say it latest version which is 2022.10 and then we need to create a API base URI. Okay. Inside that we need to use a simple helper function, string interpolation. And we say it HTTPS. Okay, need to set the shop and set admin, then API version, API, and then API version. Okay, and ending slash. And then create a section for products API. Here we say post products shop, and we say api base uri and we set shop and here we set see we we have already endings list so we cannot add that here so products.json and then we need to export so module export here we say products okay need to format the code and we also need to create a helper for products so we say shopify products yes okay inside that we first need to import axios here we say require and axios okay then we need to import the helper for relative path so we see constants here we import products and we need to create a product helper so we say async need to pass payload okay inside that we need to build the xos so we say data and we say await xos set url from products need to pass process dot env dot shop okay and we say a third will be post and data will be payload and we say headers and inside the header we need to set the custom shopify header called x shopify x is token where we can set the authorization code so here we say process dot env in shopify token okay I'm storing the tokens and shop name inside the process environment variable. This is not a good programming practice, but for our demonstration, I'm not going to create a sessions and all that stuff. But I'm mentioning the key points regarding that if it is totally depend on your OAuth flow type. Okay, so if you have a OAuth flow type online, then you need to create sessions on your server side and store the access tokens there. If you have a workflow with offline, then you need to store the credentials like access tokens inside the DB. Okay, so then by then response, you need to return the response. Cage, say error, need to return error. Okay, return data, need to export helper called a product permit the code okay and inside the api we first need to import that so we see cost and require dot products and we have import add product at the bottom we need to create a post api shopify products okay async request response and need to create the handler so here we say return response.json 
Covid eight product and we set request dot body okay and inside this redirect we need to store the credentials inside the process okay so we say Shopify auth and then we say Shopify auth and here we say process dot env dot Shopify token let me check the name so here's a shopify token so inside that we need to store from shopify auth.access token and we also set process env and shop so from request.query.shop here we send response.json with the message called authorization done okay and I'll sort it. Just need to format the code. Now let's start the API. Game start. First, navigate to the browser and navigate to the store so that we can see there is there will be no any product already. So inside the product, you can see we do not have any product. Now just open the postman. Before that, we need to authorize. So we say localhost a for four thousand API Shopify. Okay, authorize and shop will be run. Right? And we have successfully authorized. Now inside the postman, navigate to the Shopify collection. Add a request. Add product. Okay, set this to post. Inside the body, we need to select a uh, JSON. And here we set the product payload on the product object inside that we set title and title will be testing product and we set body html we say h1 and we say testing product okay and we say vendor vendor will be make and we need to set the text. So here we set text. Okay. All thing I think we have done all the things. One more thing we need to set just product type. Okay. And this product will be with the default variance. Okay. And we will also learn how we can actually create the product with the variance. Okay. So product type will be testing format. Now let's send the request. I think we first need to place the breakpoints. So here and here. Now let's send the request. Oh, we need to set the URI. So we say local host port four thousand API Shopify, and we say products. Send the request. We have successfully got the response inside the data. We have created the product. Now just navigate back to the store, refresh the page. And you can see we have a product. So I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session. If you have any query regarding this session, then just please place your queries inside the video comment section. Either you can share your queries or suggestions via my shared contact details. We will hopefully come back with another session regarding the Shopify REST API. Take care. Bye-bye.